Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. Hey guys, me, host Super Soro. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I've got. It's Ben Kenobi, or also known as Obi-Wan Kenobi. This is from the 40th anniversary collection of the Star Wars Black Series. The 40th anniversary, of course, of A New Hope, or as it was called back then, Star Wars the movie. <laughs> uh, this is really awesome. I can't wait to crack this one open. As you saw on my video yesterday, we undid Darth Vader. Now, at the end of this video, I will pose him across from Darth Vader and recreate some awesome moments. So, guys, let's crack this open. Now, I did already own one of these um, when I got the San Diego Comic Con exclusive one from a convention here in the UK last summer. I'm sorry guys, all those that think these packaging are beautiful and lovely, they are, but I want to open them for the action figures, so look away now if you're of a nervous disposition. Oh, it ripped off! Oh, you're gonna really hate me now! <laughs> oh no! Oh no, it's completely ruined. <laughs> Remember guys, the motto on this channel is I unbox things so you don't have to. If you want to keep yours all nice and crisp in the packaging, you go ahead and do that. I'm opening the fuck out of them. <laughs> okay, let's... Let's crack him open, let's get him out of this little packaging. So yeah, this does seem to be a... Um, a re-release of the previous one. He came out from San Diego Comic Con, he wasn't exclusive, but then they put him in the wave with Princess Leia. I don't think they've changed anything on this one. The sculpt and everything looks identical. Seems to have a weird little black smudge on the face of mine. I'll have to take get some uh, let's take that off. <laughs> Bit annoying. Um so he's got his brown robe, which is awesome, which does actually come off as well, um, to reveal the yellow undercape. Uh, his robe, his Jedi robe. And he does have a uh, hanging loop here, so you can actually hang the lightsaber uh, onto there and remove the blue blade part. Or you could on the San Diego Comic Con one anyway. Let's see if we can do that on this one. Oh no, I don't know that doesn't sound like it wants to come out. Oh, there we go. Give it a little twist. A little twist and pull. Yeah. Thought I broke it then, but I haven't. Give it a little twist and a little pull, and it just pops right off, so you can hang the, uh, the lightsaber on his belt there. I actually like this figure, and I'm going to put the link to my original review of it. Um, it is a little bit of an older video now for this channel. It, I kind of did it last summer. So, uh, things have moved on a long way for the channel since then. But if you fancy a walk down the Super Sorrel Nostalgia Lane... <laughs> And maybe you're new to the channel and you haven't seen some of my older videos, go ahead and watch it. I'll put a link in the description and also uh, in the uh, at the end of the video you see a little link to it. Uh, if you go ahead and watch that, and you'll see how much the Super Sorrel channel has changed over the years. So this is Ben Kenobi as we know him from episode 4, um, where he helps Luke and goes off to fight Darth Vader on the Death Star. And is struck down by Darth Vader. Strike me down and I'll become more powerful than you can ever imagine. But yeah, let's talk articulation for a moment. So the head is on a little bit of a ball joint, so you can make him look up slightly and back down and left and right. There is a rotation if you really want to twist his head the wrong, wrong way around, but I don't think you do. The arms are fully articulated, so you can lift his arms up at the top. There is a rotation there as well, limited by the cape, but if you take that off it won't be a problem. There is a bend at the elbow. And the wrists are on a hinge as well, so you can rock them back and forth, as well as rotate them. There is no diaphragm hinge on this particular one that I remember. Oh no, there is! There is. Boop! There is a diaphragm hinge on this one. So that is an improvement on the previous model. I don't remember that being on the San Diego Comic Con one. Or maybe I was just new to reviewing back then. And I missed it. And there is a slight twist and pivot there as well. The legs are going to be pretty much limited by the costume piece, but you can lift his legs all the way out. And there is a double knee on there as well, as well as the crazy rocker ankle pivot and the uh, and a, um, a foot rocker as well. So all in all, he's got some great articulation. It's a good addition to the Black Series range. I really like it. I think this is awesome. 
I like him with his hood sort of covering his face slightly. Like when we first see him. Obi-Wan Kenobi. Yes, that's what they used to call me. Alan Guinness is amazing. Uh, we're coming very close now to obviously the 40th anniversary of Star Wars. Uh, later on in May, I'm hoping Disney Store and Hasbro release some more merchandise real soon. I know America kind of has got like Hot Wheels and things like that. I'm not into that. I hope they release some more like elite, like Star the Star Wars Elite series at the Disney Store. A lot of people don't like them in favor of the Black series, but I don't mind the Elite series as their own little collectibles and the die casts. So I kind of like that. Um, and I know there is a 3.75 inch Black Series range coming as well, which is going to be a metal die cast as well. Okay guys, as I did in the last video, let me get my phone out and let's take this review to the desk. I need a, I need a Black Series Darth Maul. I need a Black Series Darth Maul so I can kind of do some... Star Wars Rebels um, action figure artwork, that would be awesome, of that final climactic moment. Anyway, let's take it to the desk. Okay, and here he is up close. That face sculpt is beautiful and amazing. I don't think we're going to get a better face sculpt of Alec Guinness than that. I'm trying to get my camera to focus here. Uh, come on camera, that's focus, I think we're going to get it today. I'm not sure if you can tell there, but it is an amazing face sculpt. Oh, I can't get the camera to focus on it. Oh, there we go. It is an amazing face sculpt. Looks just like him. It's beautiful. I've sort of posed him here a little bit. That's awesome. I think this is a great action figure, guys. What do you think? Let me take the robe off and then we'll uh, talk again. And here he is again, derobed. Getting a little bit of a better face sculpt look now. I do think that's the best face sculpt we're going to get of Alan McGuinness. It is just amazing. As you can see, I've got a little bit of a blemish here on his head. Not sure whether that's meant to be there or not. It looks kind of purposely put on, but on the other hand it doesn't all at the same time, it looks weird. So I might see if I can take that off. Except I'm not sure if it's meant to be there or not. Um, the articulation on this figure is brilliant. <laughs> I said that as he falls over. You can get him in a variety of poses and stances, but I kind of like him, so I stood to the side. One arm up, lightsaber hand on the other on guard. Ready for the fight with Vader who's lurking in the background. This is the Star Wars 40th Legacy Pack set behind him that it'll be now situated on. And don't forget, like, guys, to tune in later on in the week because tomorrow we have the lovable rogue himself, Han Solo. So that's Wednesday. And on Thursday we have Princess Leia, followed by Easter Good Friday. We'll be having some Skywalker. So guys, make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on all these awesome unboxings. Not many channels are unboxing and reviewing these figures, as obviously most people wanting to keep these in the box, but I unbox things so you don't have to. That is my tagline here. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. Okay, so it's time for the moment we've all been waiting for. Let's get Vader in there. You should not have come back, Obi-Wan. Strike me down, Darth and I've become more powerful than you could possibly imagine. Your power is weak, old man. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that look at the Obi-Wan Kenobi action figure. He's pretty awesome, right? 40th anniversary right around the corner. Really happy with this one. Don't forget tomorrow to tune in and you'll be able to see me review Han Solo. And as I said, then followed by on Thursday, you'll be able to see me unbox uh, Leia and then Luke on Good Friday. And don't forget guys to hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I know sometimes I'm a bit daft and silly with my action figure poses and playing, but... 
I just can't help it. I'm so nostalgic of this film. I love it, and I'm really happy to have had these action figures. Guys, let me know your thoughts on this video in the comments down below. Smash the subscribe button if you enjoyed it. Even if you're new to the channel, subscribing's awesome. It really helps the channel out. We're nearly at 5K. I want to do that 5K giveaway, so make sure you're in it to win it. Thank you very much, and I'll speak to you again soon, guys. May the Force be with you. Bye-bye!